another beautiful Sunday is upon us very, very shortly. We don't have Thursday Night Football this week. Woo! Congratulations, everybody. We did it. For once, there is no Thursday Night Football. That Thursday Night Football game that looks like a mega, mega matchup has been moved to Monday. Very, very nice, to be completely honest with you. But anyway, since we only have two days for football like it was back in the old days, which was only like 10, 15 years ago, to be completely honest with you, is it's been a crazy time, you know, the past 10 or 15 years at just adding, you know, slots for extra money. Now, we don't have that this week. But that's enough about, you know, me hating on Thursday Night Football like everybody else does. Let's talk about this Sunday slate, which is not the greatest in the world. I'm not going to lie to you. Not very good of a slate. Ugh. Especially in this noon window. Oh, boy. But you do have a couple of good options, as always. Um, first up, the undefeated Titans going up against the Texans. How can the Texans, you know, keep on building up momentum? You know, how can they keep going? I can even save their season, and they gotta they gotta do it on the road. They gotta do it in a tough test, tough environment against Tennessee Titans, who flex their muscles against the Bills on Tuesday night. And they're looking to keep that same sort of dominance up, you know, because AFC South is looking like it's going to be the Colts and the Titans, you know, and, the, and the Colts and Titans meet very very shortly, and it's gonna be that game is gonna be fun. I can tell you that right now. Meanwhile, Lamar Jackson goes up to Philly. How in the world can can Philly do anything? Can Philly not get in their own way this time? I mean, it's going to be a rough time if Lamar Jackson and the company gets going and that defense starts picking off Wentz because Wentz has thrown out way too many interceptions this year. Way too many. It's not even just the offensive line. It's definitely definitely a little bit on him, too. Way too many picks, my man. Way too many picks. Um, winless Falcons going up against the Vikings. What can you say about that? Two teams that just kind of, they kind of blew their way out of here. And they, and they, you know, the Vikings blew a lead last week. Falcons have blown multiple leads. Falcons, you know, being inept. Vikings being inept. It's nothing really to write home about. Joey Burrow goes up to Indianapolis for the first time. Take on Phillip Rivers, who's also having interception problems. Lions come back for their bye week to take on the Jags. Battle of two cat mean teams. Um, so, I don't know how that's going to work out out there, you know, in Jacksonville. And um, we got the Patriots. This game was rescheduled, of course. This was supposed to be last week, which... You know, it was stupid to move that to 425 in the first place. It shouldn't have been moved to 425 last week. And then moved to Monday. And then moved to Tuesday. And then moved to every other day. But now, we finally get to see this matchup. Or rather, Patriots and Broncos fans get to see this matchup. Because I'm not watching this. I mean, I don't even know if Cam Newton and Stephon Gilmore are even going to play. I assume they're still in quarantine and everything like that. The Broncos are the Broncos. Like, they, David have to start Brett Rippin, for God's sake, you know, <laughs> and um, what a toilet bowl we have, you know, for our NFC East rivals, our other NFC East rivals, if you're a Cowboys fan like myself, Giants, Washington football team, I don't know who in the world's going to win that shit show, it is going to be rough, let me tell you. I mean, yeah, there's some interesting things going on, you know, like the Giants, they may have found their offensive spark, and maybe, you know, maybe just maybe Alex Smith is starting, who knows, for the football team, and still we'd say the football team, but nobody cares about either of those two teams, because they're both trash, they're both not good, what is good is Teddy Bridgewater. And those Carolina Panthers who have been completely under the radar, to be completely honest, like, barely spoken about them at all, but this entire season. But I'm going to see them on Sunday. I'm going to see how they do. I know they don't have Christian McCaffrey, but they do have some other backs in the backfield. 
But how are they going to fare against Khalil Mack, man? How are they going to fare against, you know, that defense? And, um, you know, same old, same old, you know, stuff, you know, because that, that Bears defense is tough, let me tell you. I mean, you saw how many times they put Brady on the ground. You saw how many times. And the other big game at noon is the Browns and the Steelers, an AFC North matchup, division lead, you know, looking real comfy for either one of these teams right now. The Steelers undefeated, Browns 4-1. And, one. and um, if the Steelers don't close out, Baker Mayfield, you know, limits his mistakes, I think the Browns can win this game. It's a very simple formula. I think, the, I think this is going to be a very good matchup. Very excited to see the Steelers and the Browns play. It's going to be a fun game. Let me tell you that. Um, then we have a couple of games at three. Just only two this time, so it's rather unfortunate. First up, it's Fitzmagic taking on those trash-ass Jets. Adam Yates is still the play call out there, Jets fans. I don't know, I don't know what in the world's going on out there. In, in East Rutherford, New Jersey, uh, I, I don't know. It's it's looking like inner turmoil out there, and you know you could be on to Fitz Magic. You don't you, you don't want him. You don't want to he be uh, with against the guy that's doing his Fitz Magic, if you know what I mean. The bearded Ryan Fitzpatrick, and you know the Dolphins. Very very surprised what they did last week. They just beat down the 49ers. We'll talk about the 49ers in a moment. But uh, just a beatdown on the 49ers, man. What about 325, man? What about 325? The big game of the week is going to be the Packers, who are also undefeated. Aaron Rodgers has been going on a tear this season with Aaron Jones accompanying him as well. And how are they going to do against the Bucks, who looked kind of anemic? They... You know, they found their stride one week, but the next week, eh, you know, they kind of ran into a roadblock. And it's going to, that one's going to be very fun. Unfortunately, there's only two games in that time slot, you know, in the 3 o'clock time slot. It's rather unfortunate. Need some more games. Don't, I mean, what if the, what if the, um, what if the Bucks Packers game gets bad? The only other option is Jets Dolphins. I really dislike when, you know, there's just one really interesting game, and then one just, and then there's just one bad game. Like there should be more than that. Maybe like three to five games in the late window. What about Sunday night? Sunday night says Jalen Ramsey. That's what it says on Sunday night. You know those Los Angeles Rams who have flexed their muscles against the NFC East. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's the NFC East. The entire division sucks this year. It's bad. Really rough division. Going up against the 49ers, who, though the last couple of times we've seen, you know, the 49ers take the field, they looked kind of, I mean, it's definitely the injuries, but, I mean, they've just looked rough out there. It, it, it has been rough for the 49ers. I'll tell you that much. How can, how can they improve, you know? You know How is that Rams offense going to do now that they're facing up against some tougher competition than the NFC East? Because I'm telling you, you know, it, it's the NFC East. I don't think you get any, you get, it's, it's not the year to be getting Browning points against the NFC East. It's not, it's definitely not this year. Uh, speaking of the NFC East, how about Monday night? But before we talk about that last, the actual Monday night game that was supposed to be on Monday night, let's talk about big time matchup Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. Both teams coming off a loss. And both these losses were pretty much in dominant fashion. Like the Raiders toyed with the Chiefs in the second half, and so did the Titans. They The Titans toyed with the Bills in the second half. And this is going to be at 4 o'clock on Monday. You know, or, you know... Or, you know, 5 o'clock on, like, what, the East Coast? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it, East Coast fans. We get it. Most of y'all live on the East Coast. But that's that's neither here nor there. Bills, Chiefs, who's going to bounce back first? Is, is, is the Chiefs defense okay? Is the Bills defense okay? 
because, I mean, I, I thought both these defenses were good, and then they pretty much got exposed last week. You know, they got exposed. And last but not least, DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, you, you can just take that air raid and come on down. Come on down and show the Cowboys defense how it goes because it's going to be a rough night, let me tell you. If Kingsbury gets that air raid going at a top speed. I don't know about the Cardinals defense, though, but I do know that offense is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And it's the first start for the Red Rifle. <laughs> Since 2019, it's the first start for the Red Rifle. You know, after Dak got injured, pretty sad. You know, still kind of. But, you know, Red Rifle's first start in Big D. Uh, I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, like, I know the Cowboys have a litany of problems. But, um, you know, we can pull if we can pull something out of our ass again, I can guarantee you that we'll beat the Cardinals. But if not, you know, it's okay. It's okay. As long as the rest of the NFC East loses, it's okay. Well, except the Washington Giants game. Hope that game gets at the tie. But yeah, for the most part, week six does not look very interesting on paper. There's a couple games that look interesting. And then, you know, you get stuck with just one big game in the afternoon. And Fox, could, you know, Fox likes to do that sometimes. You know, they'll just stick it with one big game and then just put all their other games at 1 o'clock because that's just how they do things. Um, you know, the struggling 49ers going to take on the Rams, you know, and um, and uh, big time plays need to be made on Monday night, let me tell you. I, I'm certain that maybe now, it, it, I thought it was going to be the entire NFC West making the playoffs out of the 49ers look injured to hell. I think it's probably going to be three. And, you know, I mean, I'm thinking the Cardinals are looking pretty good right now. They're looking pretty good. I'm telling you, they're looking pretty good. But, yeah, basically, that pretty much does it. Um, I hope no more games get moved because there were some college games that got moved. And I don't feel like talking about that because I'll talk about that on Saturday when, you know, college football ends and stuff like that for the weekend. But, yeah. Week six in the nutshell is going to be very, very fun. And, you know, I hope that all the teams are healthy, you know, and free of COVID. I mean, I know, you know, some players probably already tested positive for COVID-19 and stuff like that. But, you know, I hope that teams and players are safe. That, that That's really the big thing. We, we still got a long way to go. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. Pro Bowl. No, no, no. No Pro Bowl this year, but eh, no Pro Bowl this year. No 2021 Pro Bowl. That is out. Thank God. Thank God. Now, add a week 18 and we'll be good. Big Boy Variety telling you to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and share the video. You know, just make sure you share my analysis and, you know, we'll be, we'll be good. So, see ya. In the next video very, very soon.